Teen Teen Gamers back again with another PBR battle. And this time we're jumping straight into the battle because of the YouTube time limit. I didn't feel like uh, speeding it up because I, you know, that's not cool. Anyway, <clears throat> so I'm using this pass again. And I realize that I haven't shown you somebody. Uh, well, actually, I haven't shown you two people, so. Uh, here's Pachirisu, the cutest little squirrel ever. Look how cute it is. Anyway. Pachirisu's sole purpose is to help me set up, and that's exactly what it does. So, I went for a Thunder Wave on Jolteon, uh, to slow it down, which, um, it's actually pretty funny, because now that I think about it, it wouldn't have worked because of the Vote Absorb, but whatever. I protect with Ursa Ring, because that's what I gotta do, I mean, yeah, that's basically Ursa Ring's job, just to protect on the first turn and get its, uh, Quick feed activated. Anyway, he calls back the um, Jolteon, which is actually really, really helpful. And he sends out a Gengar, or she rather, sends out a Gengar. And I was like, yes, it's perfect! <laughs> yes! Anyway, Arcanine protects, I guess because it can. And Ursa Ring protects because, well, we already know why, because it's a. Ugh, look at Ursa Ring's animation! Anyway, Petrice, who goes for Thunder Wave and paralyzes the Gengar, which is very, very. Very nice, because Gengars are fast, Gengars are annoying, we don't like Gengars. Anyway, now I've got my quick feed activated. And now, uh, this part here, I was kind of predicting a Focus Sash on the Gengar, and to be honest, I just kind of wanted it to die. So I used Fling, I used up my King's Rock on it, but oh well, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, anyway, I used Fling on it to break its Sash and make it flinch, which will basically give me a turn to attack Arcanine. Because it can't protect this turn, obviously. It just use protect. So you go for a facade. And, um. We just, uh. Anyway. Sorry. Patrice, who uses fling! And it flings its King's Rock at Gengar. And it, Gengar doesn't take any damage at all. But then again, that's not what that attack is for. Ursaring goes for a facade. And, uh, even with the, its attack lowered by Intimidate, that did a hefty, hefty chunk of damage. Wow! That did a bunch of damage. Anyway, Arcanine goes for Flamethrower. And, um, it doesn't hurt too badly, but I know I can't take another one just because I'm holding a Toxic Orb. So it would probably be in my best interest not to take another one of those Flamethrowers. Anyway, this turn, I, uh, <coughs> Pachirisu is so cute, guys. I, I don't, I don't even know what to tell you. It is just so adorable. Anyway, Pachirisu goes for Helping Hand because it's going to help its little... It's a tiny squirrel helping a giant bear. Anyway, he's gonna go for Helping Hand. And Earth Ring here is gonna go for Shadow Claw. It could probably kill the Gengar without the Helping Hand, but I just wanted to be safe. Uh, because I kinda want. To, at the moment, the Gengar is a lot more threatening just because of the uh, threat of Focus Blast and uh, stuff like that. I, I don't really want a Gengar hanging around because they're pretty powerful. Anyway, the Arcanine protects. I kinda predicted that. I thought the Arcanine would protect. So, uh, it's a good job that I did that. And, uh, there we go. Shadow Claw hits! And, uh, Gengar goes down. By the way, I forgot to mention. Um, yeah, I changed my Ursa Ring from a last resort spamming one to just a normal one because I ran into, like, this Gengar with Ursa Ring. And I, well, it wasn't a Gengar. It was a, um, what is it? Not a Gengar. I can't think of the name right now. Dust Clops, that's it. I couldn't kill the Dust Clops, and it was really annoying. But anyway, our Jolteon comes back out. And, uh, this time, I actually go for Thunder Wave on it. Man, you know, this battle was so laggy. Look at this. Epic lag, man. Anyway, I wasn't sure if, if uh, Volt Absorb would absorb Thunder Wave or not, because it's a status-inflicting move. Like, you can use Hypnosis on a Dark-type, even though it's Psychic, and you can use, like, I don't know, Growl on a Ghost-type, even though it's normal. So, I, I wasn't sure if that would, um, actually do anything. And, uh, with Earth Ring, I go for a Protect, just to basically preserve him for another turn, because I had a feeling Arcanine was going to attack it. You know, just a sneaking suspicion. And, uh, in fact, it did, and it's a good job I protected, because EXTREME SPEED! Uh, whatever. So, uh, I basically know Earth Ring is probably dead now. But anyway, uh, it turns out that, yes, Volt Absorb does, in fact, absorb Thunder Wave, which is completely stupid. I don't know why, because it, it would help a lot if it didn't, but whatever. Some of it, It's really weird, I don't know why that works, but... Oh well, Pachirisu um, doesn't really have anything else to do now, because Ursa is going to die, so there's no point in helping hand. 
So I just go for a charm on the Arcanine to make its uh, extreme speed basically useless in the future because, you know, it's it could get a little bit annoying. So I may as well just make it useless now and worry about it later. So anyway, um, we're just waiting for the lag to end. Lag, 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 lag. Okay, there we go. So Jolteon uses a helping hand, which I wasn't expecting. I've never seen a Jolteon with helping hand, but I guess that's pretty cool. Uh, kind of like my uh, Pachirisu. Anyway, he goes for extreme speed, gets a crit. It probably would have killed me anyway. In fact, it, I guarantee you it would have killed me anyway. So Earth Ring goes down, unfortunately, but there wasn't really much I could do about that. So Patrisa goes and shoots hearts all over the place, and, and uh, Arcanine's like, Oh no, I'm being hit by hearts, and his attack falls, because now he's in love with the little squirrely awesomeness that is Pachirisu. So anyway, out comes the other Pokemon you haven't seen yet, Altaria. I love my Altaria. You will see how beastly this thing is later in the fight. I am not kidding, this thing is an absolute beast. Anyway... Patrisu here is going to go for another charm on Arcanine because I need to get a Dragon Dance up. And I knew that he wasn't going to be doing anything to Altaria because, you know, it's just a special defensive wall. I mean, that's basically what it is. So I go for a Dragon Dance because I need to power up my moves. Because at the moment it's not very powerful, but after a Dragon Dance, its attack goes up um, to like near 200. I don't know what exactly it is. I think it's just, a, I think it's like 206. I calculated it, but, oh well. So, he goes for Helping Hand, Patrice goes for Charm, shoots more hearts out, and Arcanine's like, oh no, it's not more hearts, Ah! Oh. But it doesn't matter, because it's going for Flamethrower, as you will see in a sec. So, Altaria starts doing some kind of crazy disco dance over there, like Dragon Dance, and it's just like, Altaria, calm down. And, um, Arcanine shoots fire all over the place. And, have you ever noticed, Pachirisu, there's a couple Pokemon like this, Pachirisu and a couple others are just like Pokemon that won't die. Like, you know how there's some Pokemon out there that just refuse to die? Well, Pachirisu is one of those. It's just, like, impossible to kill in one hit. I love it. Altaria is another one of those Pokemon. Anyway, now here I go for a Helping Hand and Earthquake. Yes, I realize it will kill Pachirisu, which is very sad. I'm sorry, all you Pachirisu lovers. But I need to get another Pokemon out here that will attack. Because, at the moment, Patrice can't do anything. So Arcanine, unfortunately, goes to Protect, which kind of sucks, but uh, it doesn't matter, because at least I take out the Jolteon. So Jolteon goes down, and unfortunately, I take out my own Pachirisu, but like I said, I kind of needed it to die, because it basically can't do anything, because it can't paralyze the Jolteon. So, we get to send in Drapion now. Yeah, Drapion's amazing. So... Uh, he goes back, and Arcanine protected itself, and out comes the best thing ever. It's like an accordion. I don't know what it is. It looks like an accordion. It's Strapion! Roar! He's back from his flinch hacks battle to teach these guys a lesson. Anyway, so the world's greatest accordion comes out. Now, I haven't mentioned what his strategy is, and you're probably wondering, because he has Endure. Well, his strategy is, um, Endure, activating a Landsat Berry, and then using Night Slash to get critical hits with the Sniper ability. And the Sniper ability gives you three times damage, rather than two times with a critical hit. So if you can get a crit off with Drapion, it's pretty deadly. It is, it's basically a one-shot with almost anything. Anyway, Artori goes for Outrage. I was kind of hoping it would hit Manaphy, but it doesn't really matter. So uh, Arcanine gets smacked down by Outrage, and it goes bye-byes. And uh, Drapion goes ahead and uses Poison Jab. And uh, it doesn't do a whole lot, but then again, I haven't really trained my, Jap my uh, Drapion to be an attacker. It's more defensive, and then it, you know, uses its strategy. It's very, very fast. Very fast, Drapion. And look at this! Ice Beam and Altaria lives! The quad effect of Ice Beam. It gets freeze hexed, and then its Lumberry takes away its frozenness. So that was awesome! Altaria, you are an absolute amazing, amazing little amazing thing. You took a quad effect of Ice Beam and spit it back at him. You ate that Ice Beam like no dragon type should eat an Ice Beam. Amazing. Anyway, it's pretty funny that he got freeze hacks. And that is exactly why I have a Lumberry on it rather than a Parasimberry. 
Because if something goes wrong, and I don't get to finish my outrage spam, like I get burned, or I get poisoned, or paralyzed, my Lumberry will uh, fix that right up for me. Anyway, that was an excellent battle, and I hope you enjoyed this PBR battle. See you next time!